Hello. This video is one in a series that talks about how to create custom operating systems using the PCM Tech Editor. This video is going to be about creating a flex fuel tune that allows either the user to select the ethanol content or can use the CAN bus flex fuel sensor that's exclusive to PCM Tech. To get started, we start in the PCM Tech Editor main screen. Go to Calibration Tools and select FMT Custom OS Configuration. Once this loads, you'll see we have a gray screen and we can't do anything except open a file or create a file or load a file. I'm going to open a file that's unlicensed. Once this file is open, you see that I don't currently have it licensed. Now, I have another file that has been licensed for flashing and for custom operating system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Merge License Info. So I'm going to select My Tune Licensed. This is a tune that I have licensed to my car and for the custom operating system. Now that we have the tune file open and licensed, we can go over some of the settings. So over here, we've got the main settings that you're going to be able to tweak in here. The first one is we are going to do the user flex fuel select. You can do the CAN based one if you have the CAN sensor that PCM Tech supports, but I don't have that and I'm not building that, but it builds the same way. We're just going to select the user flex fuel select. Since this is only going to be a flex fuel tune, we're going to select fuel only memory. Not doing a launch tune, so no launch tune. Don't have to worry about the brake pedal interlock or the variable RPM. And then finally, select your dash. I'm running a American car, so US dash. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add our parameters to the additional fuel overlay. These are the tables that the flex fuel logic is going to blend or switch between depending on what type of tables they are. Before I get into adding tables, there's a couple of quirks about how the PCM Tech flex fuel blending supports certain parameters. No scalers will blend as the ethanol content changes. They can only switch between your base setting and your flex fuel setting at a given ethanol percentage. And I'll show you that once we've created the tune. But just remember, none of your scalers will blend. They only switch. And the reason why this is very important is because the HDFX tables, so all of your mapped point tables, all of your variable cam timing tables, don't blend. Your borderline tables, your MBT spark tables, your torque and torque to load tables, your speed density tables, none of them blend. They're all treated like scalars. So when you're creating a flex fuel file, you're going to have to find ways to get around the spark tables not blending. The way I like to do it, I like to use the borderline lambda modifier table to add my timing to the borderline tables and have those work just the same. And then I like to add the MBT tables. And then at the given ethanol percentage value, I just like to switch over to my E85 MBT tables. So I'm going to start by adding my tables. I'm going to start with the borderline lambda modifier. And so you just click the checkbox next to it. And then you can either, you can click the button right now and move it over into this window, or you can select them all later. I like to do most of them one at a time. So I'm going to do that as I move along here. Next, I'm going to add the cranking fuel mass. Then we're going to add cylinder pressure, just in case we need to modify that at all to control spark while it's blending. And I'm going to go ahead and add all the MBT tables for the mapped points that I use. I'm not going to add the borderline tables because we've already controlled spark with the borderline modifier. So I only use 0 through 4, so I'm going to add those. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the torque and torque to load tables. Again, it's up to you how complicated you want to make this. The Ford logic says that the torque changes on ethanol. And the same thing about MBT. The Ford logic says the MBT changes on ethanol. So I like to add those in there and make a few changes. You might not need them, but I'm going to add them. So we'll get those tables added. Again, you can make this as simple or as complicated as your 
application warrants. So I've added all my tables. Again, you just click the boxes and move them over there and you click build and save custom OS. So I'm going to call this one Flex Fuel. One other quick way you can create a Flex Fuel tune is if you already have an E85 tune for the vehicle that you're tuning. If you open an E85 tune, once this tune's loaded, all your red parameters are the parameters that are different from stock. I'm going to right click, only show parameters different to stock. I'll right click again and select all for parameter export. Go to File, Parameter File, Import, Export, and Export to Parameter File. And I'll name this E85 template, something I've already saved once before. Once you've created that parameter file and you're back in the custom OS wizard, you can import it into your alternative fuel overlay. So if you click Values, click Load, and select the E85 template, it will import everything that's different to stock on your E85 tune. Now many of these tables could probably be taken out. I don't need my ship map tables here. I'll get rid of those. But then you build and save custom OS. Name it what you want to name it. And now that we're back in the main editor, you'll see in the custom OS tables all the tables that I selected for E85 tune export have been loaded in here with the changed values. So if you do that, that's a really fast way to make a flex fuel tune out of an already functioning 93 octane tune or base fuel tune and E85 tune. And now that that has saved and it's loaded, you're going to see there's three new sets of parameters in the navigator. You've got cluster configuration parameters, which you can change if you need, or if you need to make a couple changes to some of your custom OS values, you can change some of them here. Some of them you have to go back into the wizard and change, but you can do that as often as you need or as much as you'd like. You can go back into the custom OS configurator and change what tables you have and change the settings about what kind of tune it is. It's all very configurable. So we're gonna close that out. The next one we're going to look at is the custom OS configuration tables for flex fuel and dual maps. The reason why this one is important is because remember we talked about how scalers don't blend. So in the flex fuel custom operating system, PCM Tech has created a custom blendable stoichiometric air fuel ratio scaler. So as soon as you go to the flex fuel custom operating system, it automatically loads that scaler in the background and there's no configuration the stoichiometric air fuel ratio required. But one table that's important is your blend ramp for multi-tunes. So your ethanol percentage and which map it uses. So high map is one and low map is zero. So what is high map and what is low map? Low map is base fuel. High map is high fuel. <clears throat> the one corresponds to your E85 tune and the zero corresponds to your base fuel. Since I'm in the United States, most pumps, the lowest ethanol content they have is 10%. So I'm going to make this say 10% for my lowest value because that's all the lower I'm ever going to set it. And then again, at 85%, it's 100% on our high maps. You can leave that at zero if you want. I'm just changing that because almost always have some amount of ethanol in the tank. Then there's the ethanol conversion to stoic. Again, shouldn't need to make any changes to this. But if you're running something specific, go ahead and, and change that per your needs. And then finally, this is one of the most important things when you're looking at flex fuel. It's the percent of ethanol value that scalers switch over to the E85 maps. So they have it set to 42 and a half. You can set it wherever you'd like, whatever works for your application. In this application, the only things for me that it's going to be switching is my MBT tables. So I'm going to set this to 60%. So now we've done the base configuration in there, and we can start looking at our fuel tables. So you'll see that when you go into there, you have Tune 1 for base fuel and Tune 1 for E85. So Tune 1 is your base tune. 
So all of those tables that you loaded into the alternative fuel overlay in the custom OS configurator, they all exist in your base fuel and your E85. Chances are your base tune is already configured for 93, 91, 98 octane, whatever the base fuel you're going to be running is. So these will have pulled in whatever your base values were, assuming you already had a tuned car. If not, and you need to adjust these, you can go in and tune these yourself. I wouldn't need to adjust these because I would start with a tune that was built for 93 octane, and it would pull all my 93 octane values in there. But the interesting thing is when you go down, let's go and look for our MBT table for map point zero down in the spark area in the navigator. So as you can see, mapped points zero through four, there's no MBT tables down there. What has effectively happened is the base tune in the custom OS tables, it exists here now, but it will also pull them into your E85 tables. So here is where you can go in and start to configure for your E85 tune. Now maybe you're basing this off of an E85 tune that you already have, and you can go in and put your values in there, but this is where you configure all the values that it uses to blend. If I wanted to change my borderline spark modifier, I would probably add six degrees to this. So as it starts to blend in ethanol, it's going to start adding timing to my borderline tables. And again, the specifics of how you configure for your fuel type and for the specific combo that you're tuning, that's up to you. This is the basic custom OS configuration using the PCM Tech custom OS configurator. Thanks for watching.